With high refresh rate monitors becoming more and more affordable every day, 144Hz is slowly but surely becoming the new standard for gaming. However, there are higher refresh rate monitors available that come with the promise of better performance while costing more, making it a hard choice for people who don't know. If you're saving for a new monitor, should you go for a 144Hz monitor? Or should you go all in and get yourself a 240Hz screen? Is the extra performance worth it in terms of video games? And does it make a difference? In our video today, we'll help you make that decision and try to explain the difference between 144Hz and 240Hz screens. So, without further ado, let's begin. Even a few years ago, we remember 240Hz monitors being the highest refresh rate for a monitor that was available commercially. However, these screens are now, through technological advancements, widely available and the best part is that they come in a reasonable price range. For those of you who made the memorable leap from a basic 60Hz monitor to a 120Hz or 144Hz monitor, you remember that feeling of having an instant upgrade, don't you? We never felt like we needed a higher refresh rate display till we saw it with our own eyes, and the feeling of using a high refresh rate setup for the first time is out of this world. Everything felt a lot smoother as we slid our cursor across our screen without seeing the subtle ghosting effect. How everything felt visually snappier and more responsive, suffice to say the upgrade is hard not to notice. However, the jump from 144Hz to 240Hz might not seem to have the same impact for appearing to be as phenomenal as the first time. Nevertheless, it would definitely be a significant improvement in terms of the overall performance in video games and other activities as well. The differences between the two refresh rates and which one you should go for will depend on a few things which include your setup's capacity, use case preferences, and of course, the budget. For example, the Asus ROG Swift PG32UQ is a solidly built and performance-centric 144Hz monitor that can more than get the job done. You see, when it comes to the matter of 144Hz refresh rates, a new image is produced every seventh millisecond. This is the main reason for the images to appear smoother when compared to the lower refresh rate monitors like 60Hz. The difference between 144Hz and 240Hz is hard to notice without slowing down the footage, so let's check this bit out to put things into perspective. As you can see, a 144Hz refresh rate brings you a ton more responsiveness in comparison and is now often considered a modern benchmark for competitive players, with a wide variety of options to choose from even under budget categories. However, 240Hz gaming monitors such as the BenQ Zoe XL 2740 will be an incredible yet not entirely necessary upgrade for anyone who's rocking a decent gaming PC and enjoys modern competitive esports titles. Now, do keep in mind how 240Hz monitors aren't as affordable as the 144Hz variants, nor do they come with all the added benefits we see in 144Hz, not yet anyway. The worst bit though? The hardware. There's no point in going for a 240Hz monitor if your PC is unable to generate 240 frames per second for your favorite title. If that's the case, you could easily go for a 144Hz monitor instead, as some of these monitors come with the ability to easily overclock their performance up to 165Hz. And that's more than enough for modern video game titles, be that competitive or standalone. All in all, it didn't take long for the industry to introduce 144Hz monitors as the golden ratio for gaming monitors. Jumping from 60 to 144Hz can be easily noticeable, but when you make the jump from 144Hz to 240Hz, differences start to be less noticeable, although they do have a clear advantage. If your PC can churn up 240 frames per second, by all means, go for a 240Hz monitor because there's nothing like gaming on a high refresh rate monitor. However, if your PC cannot handle all the frames, a 144Hz monitor is a solid upgrade over your base 60Hz monitor, and it's hard not to see the differences in terms of performance. Regardless, what refresh rate are you more comfortable with and why? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. 
And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.